फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट बेस्ट स्मॉल कैप स्टॉक्स टू इन्वेस्ट इन 2024। ट्वेंटी फोर आई हैव बेस्ट स्मॉल कैप स्टॉक्स विच हैव ग्रेट फाइनेंशियल एंड बिलोंग टू हाई ग्रोथ सेक्टर्स इन माई रिसेंट वीडियो ऑफ लार्ज कैप स्टॉक्स टू बाय फॉर लॉन्ग टर्म आई शोड स्टॉक्स दैट फॉर एट ग्रेट बाइंग लेवल एंड विद इन जस्ट अ मंथ दीज स्टॉक्स हैव गिवन अ वेरी गुड रन अप ऑलरेडी लाइक डी मार्ट इज अप ट्वेंटी वन परसेंट एच डी एफ सी सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट बजाज फाइनेंस थर्टीन परसेंट अप एंड सो ऑन यू कैन चेक आउट द वीडियो ऑन द आई बटन एंड टूडे आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट स्मॉल कैप स्टॉक्स सम ऑफ विच आई एम गोइंग टू होल्ड फॉर लॉन्ग टर्म सो यू मे पुट दीज स्टॉक्स इन योर वॉच लिस्ट फॉर फर्दर रिसर्च बिकॉज नथिंग इज अ रिकमेंडेशन एंड आई एम नॉट अ फाइनेंशियल एडवाइजर सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड द फर्स्ट स्टॉक इन माई स्मॉल कैप स्टॉक्स लिस्ट केटर्स टू मल्टीपल हाई ग्रोथ सेक्टर्स डिफेंस सेक्टर स्पेस सेक्टर न्यूक्लियर पावर सेक्टर एंड क्लीन एनर्जी सेक्टर आई एम टॉकिंग about Emtar Technologies. It manufactures equipments for all these sectors. Its clients include ISRO, DRDO, HAL, NPCIL, Boom Energy, etc. But 77% of its revenue comes from clean energy. They supply hot boxes and hydrogen electrolyzer to US-based company Bloom Energy, but dependency on Bloom Energy is high. That is a risk. But otherwise, green hydrogen electrolyzer is another very high growth industry in which Emtar is among the highest contender from India. If you look at its financials, its market cap is around 5 5700 crores pe is 70 which seems like a lot but if we look at its medium pe then it's trading below the median pe also its pe is equal to industry b 70.02 plus when peg ratio is less than 1 we can still consider it debt to equity is less than 1 which is good roe roce is great the revenue grew 3 times in last 5 years net profit has been increasing but we recently saw a fall due to supply chain issue but overall the compounded sales growth and the compounded profit growth is superb Looking at shareholding pattern the promoters have reduced its shareholding but the FIIs has been buying this stock since last one year the DIIs have recently reduced its holdings if you look at the technicals currently it is at a great level to make an entry from the current price level i can already see a potential of about 65% growth next best small cap stock in my list is Inox India. Inox India supplies cryogenic equipment. It caters to various sectors like space, LNG, industrial gas, oil and gas, etc. About 71% of its revenue comes from storage, transportation and distribution of industrial gases like green hydrogen gas and oxygen. Its market cap is about 12000 crores. PE is definitely high. It is 81. So do keep that in mind. ROC and ROE is fantastic. Debt to equity is very good 0.02 only. In the last 5 years revenue has been constantly growing and currently at all time high. The operating profit margin is good 21%. The net profit also has been increasing. The 3 year compounded sales and profit growth are also very good. The company has been constantly generating cash from operating activity. The promoter holds 75% in this stock. FII is 4.65% and DII is 6.48%. If you look at the technicals, recently we saw a breakout on 4th of April and our after hitting 1434 level we can see a pull back so now again we have an opportunity to make an entry in this stock but for short term trade we have to be careful around 1323 if it breaks then we can see some correction but otherwise overall this stock looks good because after ipo this stock has been showing strong upward movement and seems like a good stock that we can hold for long term but it's not a recommendation do your research next best small cap stock is newland laboratories this company manufactures and sells drugs to international and domestic market market cap is 8 55 crores currently trading at a pe of 27 which is below its 5 year median pe and less than industrial pe of 35 the sales have doubled in the last 5 years the operating profit margin is constantly increasing which is a very very good sign and the net profit has become multifold you can see the 3 year compounded profit growth is 117% and sales growth is 16% if you look at the balance sheet the company has been increasing its reserves reducing its borrowings and generating good cash flow through operating activity which are very good signs looking at the holdings the promoters have reduced its holdings but since 2021 the fis has been constantly increasing its holdings in this stock in the last quarter we saw the di is also increasing share holding in this stock recently goldman sachs initiated a buy signal on this stock after which we can see a 10% spike in the stock price with a very good volume even today when the market and other stocks are falling because of the israel war news this stock is still showing strength 
but currently it is quite close to its all time high so we need to be cautious for short term but overall the financials of this stock is very good but an entry around 6000 would have been great friends we should all have a portfolio that we can hold for long term which can reduce our risk as well as provide good returns in future so why not take the help of sebi registered analyst uske liye you can check out the teji mandi app it's a sebi registered research analyst teji mandi ek actively managed ready made portfolio of 15 to 20 stocks for long term provide karta hai to help users achieve their financial goals they suggest a portfolio as per users risk taking ability like flagship portfolio for low to medium risk investor which is a all weather multi cap portfolio and for high risk investor multiplier portfolio which is a concentrated portfolio of small and mid cap stocks that are likely to have potential growth they tell their users which stock to buy when to buy when to sell and even explain the rationale behind it plus they even do a weekly portfolio review and does rebalance as per market conditions teji mandi has easy integration with brokers matlab aap apne existing dmat account ko easily iske sath link kar sakte hain also you can buy sell or hold portfolio with a single click as per professional teams analysis regarding the stock in your portfolio teji mandi is a subsidiary of motilal oswal financial services which is a well known full time broker and their affordable fees is just 1188 which if you count comes out to only 99 rupees per month so for an affordable and actively managed portfolio do explore the teji mandi app the link is in description and pinned comment now coming back to this next stock is from the high growth wealth management sector novama novama caters to affluent hni and ultra hni clients plus now they are also drastically expanding into stock broker app mutual funds and they want to target the affluent clients early its market cap is 19000 crore stock pe is 36 roc is 12 percent roe 14 percent the revenue has increased more than four times in last four years the operating profit margin has been increasing and currently it's 47 percent which is amazing one issue is that the returns are not looking very consistent promoter holding has reduced to 55.95 percent fis also has sold this stock a little but dii's have been buying this stock in the december quarter recently after jeffries gave a buy signal on the stock the stock price appreciated about six percent in one day currently this stock is trading at all time high but it is a stock worth making our watch list for the coming three to five years we can explore two other alternatives also like ifl securities which is trading at a p of only nine its competitor anand rati wealth is also another great stock in the wealth management segment its sales as well as returns are constantly growing with a three year compounded profit growth of 71% and sales growth 38% plus the fii's have been buying this stock since last one year but again yes this stock is also trading at a high valuation and has already shown a good run up still a good stock to watch out for the next 3 to 5 years next best stock to invest in 2024 is actually a mid cap stock it is cdsl whenever you open a dmat account it's either nsdl or cdsl in very simple words cdsl basically provides the infrastructure and safety for the securities that you are holding in your dmat account its current market cap is almost 21000 crore is trading at a pe of 59.5 which is above its 5 year median pe so yes the valuation is a little high but the other factors like roce is very good 30% ro is 23% this company is debt free we can say the sales have almost tripled in 5 years the operating profit margin is 58% which is amazing the net profit is also growing and is at all time high they have been constantly increasing their reserves and adding cash from operating activity so the financials are looking very nice the fii's have been increasing its holding in this stock since last one year dii's have reduced their holding in december 2023 friends more and more number of people are now investing in the stock market which means more people are opening dmat accounts so as the number of dmat accounts increases the revenue of cdsl will also increase if we look at the technicals currently it is attempting to break out from this resistance zone with a very good volume so we can even look for a short term trade and obviously long term potential is there next small cap stock is from the never dying ever growing hospital sector and the name of the stock is yatharth hospital its current market cap is only 4000 crores it is trading at a pe of 43 which is quite close to its 5 year median pe and lower than its industry pe of 45 plus the peg ratio is also less than 1 debt to equity is very good 0.0 2 ROC is 26% ROE is amazing 43% the sales have become multifold in the last 5 years the operating profit margin is good 27% the net profit is also amazing you can see the compounded 3 year net profit is 275% company has been constantly increasing its reserves and constantly reducing its borrowings which is a great sign also increasing cash from operating activity promoter holding has increased to 66.44% very good sign but DIIs and FIIs have reduced its holdings to Today we can see a pullback in this stock, but we can watch out for a breakout from this level. But for the long term view, this stock is in my watch list. Next stock is Praj Industries. Praj Industry 
Industries is a biotechnology company which caters to two high growth sectors which are wastewater treatment and semiconductor sector also. Its market cap is 9000 crore. Top PE is 33 which is below its 5 year median PE and the peg ratio is less than 1. So it's okay. ROCE is very good 31%, ROE 23%. Debt to equity is only 0.03. In the last 5 years the revenue has grown 2.5x. They have been constantly increasing their operating profit margin which is good for a business. The net profit has become multifold in the last 5 years. They are constantly increasing their reserves and generating free cash flow from operating activity. The promoters have reduced their stock holding a little bit and DII both have been seen buying the stock last quarter. If you look at the technicals, there is about a 30% potential to its all-time high but in long term, this stock can prove to be a multi-bagger. So do put this in your watch list and do a detailed analysis. So I discussed about 7 small cap stocks today but there are a few more high growth small cap stocks but I would like to keep the video short and discuss them in the next subsequent videos. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon for more educational content. If you learned anything from the video, please make sure to hit the like button. Thanks for watching till the end.